rate of change. So our objective here is we want to interpret slope as a rate of change. In other words, we're going to look at kind of real life situations. And what does the slope mean if you were to describe, if you were to describe that slope uh, in a real life situation? Well, of course, we know what slope is. Slope, a measure of a line steepness calculated as change in y over change in x. We've been abbreviating this is m is equal to delta y over delta x. And of course, slope is a fraction. So now let's talk about what we're going to be getting into with these applied or real life situations. In these situations, the slope of a line is interpreted as a rate of change. Okay, so we're going to interpret what's happening here and speak to it to someone that makes sense to them. This interpretation uses the units that we're talking about in the real life situation. In this case down here, years and percentage of young adults. Those are the units we're going to deal with. Uh, uses units and speaks to the change of the y variable, positive or negative. Again, we focused on the, y, the, the rise or fall per one unit, per unit change in the x variable. Okay, so what's happening per, in this case, per year? Uh, what is the rate of change? And we'll talk about the rate of change as a per x unit, so per year. Okay. Let's look at our example here. Let's get into some young adults and what are their living arrangements. The line graphs for living arrangements of young adults, and they're between 25 and 34, are shown below. Letter A, find the slope of the line segment for young adults who own a home. That's going to be this line segment and describe what this slope means. In other words, write it as a rate of change, as if you're speaking to someone. And then letter B, let's do the same thing. For the line segment for young adults who live with their parents, which is this line segment right here. Off the bat, we can see that from the years 2000 to 2017, the percentage of young adults who own a home has decreased. Fewer young adults own a home in 2017 than in 2000. At the same time, the percentage of young adults who live with their parents has increased. More young adults are living with their parents in 2017 than were living with their parents in 2000. Okay, the rate of change will tell us specifically what's happening with that using units, years and percentage. Okay, so letter A, uh, find the slope. M is equal to the change in the Y over the change in the X, which is equal to, now we're focusing on the own a home, so the change in Y, 38.4 minus 45.4. That's my change in Y. Change in X is 2017 to 2000. So 2017 minus 2000, I do that math and I get a, a negative slope, negative seven over 17. And to make it per one, again, right here, we wanna do per one, we'll divide, or you know, divide both numerator and denominator by 17. And we get a negative, whoops, put the negative in the numerator to make it more clear. A negative 41%, because that's the numer the, the uh, y's uh, uh, unit per one year, okay? So this is how we talk about it. We would say, we're going to describe what this slope means. Percentage of young adults. who own a home, that's what we're talking about, those who own a home, okay, has decreased, okay, well that's because that's the negative slope, 
We know the slope was negative, so we know it decreased. So we're replacing the negative with the word decreased. At a rate of, this is rate of change, at a rate of 0.41% per year. Okay, so to interpret this for someone, okay, the percentage of young adults who own, young adults who own a home has decreased at a rate of 0.41% per year between 2000 and 2017. So that's calculating the slope, writing it with the denominator of one, and then interpreting that in, uh, in the written word the negative meaning decreased, and then 0.41% per year so that people can understand it. Let's look at the, uh, the same thing for those who live with their parents. We see there's an increase here. So down here I'll do B. The slope is the change in Y over the change in X. For living with their parents, it's gonna be 22 minus 11.9 divided by 2017 minus 2000, which gives us a 10.1 over 17, which is approximately 0.59% per one year. Okay, so here's the slope written as a rate of change written per one. Okay, so now let's do the same thing. Let's write what this means that we would say to someone. All right, the percentage using my labels, percentage in years, percentage of young adults who live with their parents, live with parents, okay, has, well, the slope is positive, so it has increased. Okay, as so we have a positive slope here, so we're gonna use the word increase it's increased at a rate of, okay, 0.59% per one year, per year. Why? All right, I got an E in there, per year. Okay, so notice the language here. A lot, the, we have a lot of this, the same words. What we changed was if there's a negative slope, we used decreased. If there's a positive slope, we used increase. Obviously, you've got the labels, percentage and years. Okay, you've got the same words, at a rate of, and then the numbers change there. So there is interpreting slope in real life situations as a rate of change.